What's up guys, Chris McGowan, McGowan Fitness. I got a funny story for you. So I get out of my car today and I got my McDonald's with me. I like McDonald's. What about it? I have my Diet Coke and my McFlurry on top, right? So I'm like, oh, I can't wait to eat this McFlurry. McFlurry. Ooh. I get all my stuff out and I have like three bags with me, of course. Like I'm like a pack rack when I go anywhere. I have three bags with me and I knock the McFlurry off the top, of course, and it lands right in front of me and splashes all over my feet. Oh, that's not worse. I have my jug, and if you know me, I carry a jug around. It's like a little weird, it's like a dollar jug, but I, I love the jug. So I carry that around with me, and I drop it, and literally it rolls underneath the car right next to me. So I was pissed. <laughs> Grab all my stuff, I go upstairs, and I come back down to get the jug. I look underneath the car with a little flashlight, and the jug's in the middle of the car. In the middle. In the middle. Of course. So I climb under, <laughs> so I'm like halfway under some stranger's car, and I'm climbing under, and I grab the jug, and I get out, and I start walking upstairs. I get all the way up to my apartment, and the jug has a hole in it. So I'm literally wet. My whole entire leg, pant legs wet from where I was carrying the jug. So I have water all down the side of my leg, and it's my favorite jug. So I'm kind of upset about losing my jug. Moment of silence for the jug, please. Get inside, and I uh, finish my meal, of course. I love McDonald's. The reason I'm telling you this story is because I, I received an email today from a young lady, and she talks about, like, how do you stay motivated to, you know, go outside your comfort zone? Like, talking to you right now, this is pretty much outside my comfort zone. I've spent a lot of time on the internet, and i spent a lot of time doing other things. So, talking in front of a camera is something that I think that you have to get used to. And when I first started, I can tell you, if you go back and look at my other videos, oh my gosh, it's atrocious, atrocious. So, uh, you have to get used to it. You have to go outside your comfort zone. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Now, and how do I stay motivated to do that? Well, I can easily put this in, in uh, a quick sentence for you. My family and the dreams of my clients and the dreams of people like you that are watching this. Like, I don't do this for myself. I do this for other people and I find that that's rewarding in itself. To see somebody succeed in something that they thought that they couldn't succeed in at first is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Like people ask me all the time, what do you do for, you know, do you train people? And I'm like, the last thing I do is train people. I, what I do is instill and solidify people's dreams. And that's the most important thing. I'm a dreamer myself. I mean, I've accomplished some pretty crazy things in my life. and I remember times when I didn't even think it was possible. I would never have thought five years ago that I would be an IFBB pro and be able to do the things that I do now, actually live my dream. I am a strong believer in doing things for other people and, and, and I'm a strong believer in that being the inner drive. My family is my inner drive. You know, I grew up in a single parent household and I've seen my mom struggle and I've seen, you know, the, the implications of that and I've ate mayonnaise sandwiches. Now, if you've already eaten a, a freaking mayonnaise sandwich, I'll tell you right now, McDonald's is a, is a luxury to a mayonnaise sandwich. But I remember eating those when I was young. Mayonnaise sandwich. So what you do, you got the bread, you take the mayonnaise, you put it on the bread, and you make the bread and you eat the sandwich. So going through that and seeing my mom work three jobs is, is pretty much my motivation. It's pretty much what, I, what drives me to get up in the morning and do the things that I even hate doing to help other people. So they will never have to do the things that I've had to go through to get to where I, I am. Now to find your motivation and to find the value of wh why you do the things that you have to do, you have to dig deep. You have to dig deeper than just um, because you want to be successful, because you want to uh, do this or do that, or you, you think that you need this money or, or whatever the case may be. You need to dig deeper than that. You need to dig down to the bare essence of why you really do the things that you have to do in a day. What's your why? What's your purpose? You figure out what your purpose is and what your why is and you will you will be phenomenal. You will have the motivation to get up early. You will have the drive to stay up late. You will have the things that you need to have. And you will never forget why you're doing the things that you have to do. Now, I want you to go out. I want you to find your why. I want you to find your purpose. And I want you to explore life and live life to the fullest. Do the dreams that you've dreamed of. Accomplish the tasks that you've, that you've wanted. Because I tell you right now, there's nothing worse than getting old, looking in the mirror, and saying, I could have done this and I could have done that. Any temporary pain or any temporary suffering that you go to to reach your dreams 
There's nothing worse than getting old and never accomplishing. So I'm out. This is my time. And uh, I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, link, list them below. Not link. List them below. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Peace.